Hello folks, I am going to be drawing with a very, very fine nipped pen and I started drawing some knights in armor and let's see what I can do using this pen. Um, the suit of armor I'm drawing right now has nothing to do with, with actual Knight's War because it's just entirely made up in my little tiny head here. It's going to have nice elbow spikes here coming out. This will be handy when the knight goes into the feast afterwards. In the buffet line, people won't dare to butt in line with him because he's has these little spikes there. The wind is howling in the outside. I'm not quite sure what is causing that. Well, pressure, air pressure and that global warming, climate change. Whatever they say. Chainmail legs coming down here. Anyway, part of the reason I'm I'm drawing with this pen is I want to show you how the pen fills when I'm done. So I figure I have to do a drawing first. He'll have spikes on his knees too, just in case. He needs to use those. So I'm, I'm drawing with an eagle pen, and the eagle pen company, the pen co, um, put out some very high quality pens in their day, and then like many pen companies, they ended up putting out a putting out a bunch of really crappy pens, and they put out lots of crappy ones so that the good ones are sort of rare. They're not necessarily valuable because they just aren't. But I really like this particular model. And I have three pens that are similarly made. Two are, one is almost identical to this. The other one I have is slightly larger. And they all fill the same way and they all have really, really fine nibs on them, which I don't quite know why, uh, if I was just chance that I got the ones that have the fine nibs or if they were marketed to have fine points for some reason, I really don't know. But they are all fine. We'll put some spike heels on him, why not, too? Why, let's just do that. He's in drag. So there we go. Add another feather in his cap. Panache, as they're called. Okay, so. I will... Stop drawing this and I'll zoom out so you can see what I'm doing. So here's the pen. It's um, as eagle on the, come on, get in focus. Eagle, it says, take my word for it. There we go, eagle. And it has this little diamond shaped thing under it and that actually is part of the spring that holds it tight. Um, but that diamond pattern is also used, as you can see, on this decorative band. So, you know, they, they didn't just do it once. They took that, followed through with it. This is a visualated pen. You can see the amount of ink in it. And it is filled by 
this little contraption in the back. This little thing that looks like a Coke spoon has a toggle button and there's a little flipper on the inside that squishes a little rubber sack. And it, you'd have to do this toggle about 10 different times and it will, 10 subsequent times rather, and it'll fill up. I'll show you. It unscrews here. And here's the plastic tube that actually holds the ink. Now inside of that you see another plastic tube and when you squeeze this down, ink is going to spill all over the place here so you'll just have to take my word for it. When this is squoze, squeeze, squoze, squoze, squeezed, air goes out of that tube and into the ink bottle and ink comes into the tube, into the this tube. Squeeze again, air goes out, ink comes in. Air goes out, ink comes in. And each time you do this, the ink is supposed to increase and air goes out. The problem is this sack is not big enough to actually do that very effectively. Um, but this is the same system essentially as a Parker 51, except it's a diaphragm that displaces air, fills with ink, displaces air, fills with ink, the same way that a um, Parker Vacumatic works, the same way as an ink view pen works. They all work in little stages where the level of the ink increases with each of the um, squeezing of the sac. When, you, when the ink gets to the top of the tube here, then ink goes out and ink comes in, ink goes out, ink comes in. So you don't actually get any more ink into the pen. You're just pushing ink back out. But evidently, when there's air and ink in the pen, the air is displaced rather than the ink. But again, this is not, this needs to be bigger than it is. Um, and in order for me to, to fix it correctly, I'd have to knock that little pin out I think, and put the sack on, screw it all together, and then put this thing back in, and I just don't have the time of day to do that. Um, there's a little tiny hole in here which allows air pressure to equalize between the outside of the atmosphere and the inside of the pen to keep things from uh, accidentally squeezing out and I mentioned that only uh, because in the other s version I have where the this pen is larger a little bit that little hole is covered is surrounded by a little metal uh, circle ring with a little hole in it and it's really quite nice it's a nice little detail that this pen um, has and let me just clean this off and have you see the nib, if I can get the nib in focus, come on. Now it says eagle there somewhere. Now, so it's really, it's a, it's a delightful pen because of its because it's so small, it's so fine. Um, it's really a, a joy to use, especially if you are into drawing things that have lots of detail or like to use little tiny scraps of paper. Sometimes I'm one of those people. The camera, unfortunately, is in between me, my eyeballs, and the drawing, so I'm looking at me, what I'm doing through the camera, through the phone, and I'm not hitting the drawing area that I want to hit. So anyway, there's our, our knight in armor, and the eagle pen, look at that, that's in focus, eagle. See if the nib works. Eagle 14 carat. Just a
tight little nib. Beautiful. And just so you can see the scale, where's my, where do I have a thin dime when I want it? Well, I don't have a thin dime on me. We'll use a, these are centimeters metric. So the head is a centimeter across. Pretty, pretty darn fine. Ta-da! Oh, what the heck. Let's keep going here. We don't need to stop. I'm going to get out the add some drama to this picture. Maybe I'm ruining it here by, by doing this. But it's okay. You saw how much time I spent on it. Oops, sorry. His shoes, and here's his bag that matches his shoes. See, I knew that there was some reason that I had to do this, and we'll add one dark feather and a couple of these are flies. Fruit flies. Who's calling me a fruit? So anyway, there you go. Ta-da!